In this next demonstration, we'll use one view to add an enclosure as well as a rack mounted system. So we've already logged into one view. So on the main menu, we'll click the one view menu and then click enclosures. You see here we have a couple synergy frames that we're not monitoring or, or using yet. We'll go ahead and add a C7000 enclosure. So to do that, we'll click the add enclosure button. And then you get three options that uh, you that we talked about in the study guide. So that's add an enclosure for management, add enclosure for monitoring, and then add enclosure and migrate the virtual connect domain. The first thing we want to do for this enclosure is just add it for management. And then we'll put in the IP address for that enclosure, which is 172.18.1.11. The username we'll use since we're using a simulator is DCS for both. Username and password. If you already have an enclosure group created, um, you could select that in this menu. Otherwise, if you don't have one, you have to create a new group. So we'll just call this production for now. Select the licensing is the next step. We have uh, the OneView Advanced License, so we'll select that. And then finally, the, the firmware. So you can manage the firmware either manually or if you have a service pack for, for Perliant, you can click Add here and then add that SPP to set a firmware baseline for the enclosure. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just keep this manually, and then we'll click Add, and the OneView appliance will go out and contact the OA, the onboard administrator, and then add this enclosure into the OneView appliance. So our enclosure is added. We encountered a couple errors because we don't quite have enough licenses to cover all of the servers in the enclosure. But if we go up to the main menu and then click server hardware, you see we have some synergy frames. We can scroll all the way down. And here we have the server blades that we added or that were added automatically because we added the enclosure. So that's how to add a C7000 enclosure to one view. To add a, a rack mount, we can click Add Server Hardware here on the Server Hardware page. And it's a similar process. You select either Managed or Monitored, whether you either have a license or if it's an older server, you can only monitor. And then you put in the IP address of the, uh, the ILO. So we have a DL380. That IP address is 192.18.6.16. The, uh, the same username and password since we're in the simulator, DCS. And then we'll select the one of you advanced license. We'll click Add, and then one of you will go out and contact the ILO, and then begin managing that server. So you can see here the OneView appliance went out and contacted the ILO. We've pulled the information from this server, so it's a DL380P Gen8. And again, we have a licensing issue that's to be expected. But if you have enough licenses or uh, ILO advanced and OneView licenses, then you would be able to, to manage the server from OneView.